Welcome back to my channel. If you are old yet, thanks. I really appreciate And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can notify anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a photo book using Adobe Photoshop. So before any further I do, let's get started. The first thing now, go to your file. Then I'm going to use 24 by 25 that is for my wideness then and the height is going to be 12.25 then the resolution i'm going to leave the resolution at 72 so that the system will can move fast then this is for printing so i'm going to use cmyk then you click on grid now go to your to your view menu then and create a guideline so i'm going to apply this 50 percent for the middle then and 52 percent by the right then 48 percent by the left Then two percent and ninety eight percent. Then go horizontal two percent at the top and two percent ninety eight percent at the bottom. Then the other one I'm going to apply it manually. Done. So then lock the guideline. Then select your rectangle, draw a rectangle, follow the guideline, then I'm going to draw another rectangle here, this is the cover page, and here are the images I'm going to use in this tutorial. So you can download these images from free pics i'm going to leave the link in the description so what i did is to create a clipping mask then select your text to while you type all right then I'm going to apply a black column, then scale it out. Then reduce the character spacing by zero. Then I'm going to change the font. So this font here, Natalia. Then make it bold, increase the font size, then drag it over here. Then I'm going to position it around here. Then here I'm going to type the dates. Then change the font to classic bagel. Then apply it here. Reduce the font size. Then increase the character space. Reduce it a little to 518. Then I'm going to bring this design ornament here. Then position it around here. Increase the size. Using your arrow to drag it up. Then I'll leave it at this position. Okay. So I'm done with this one. So if you there is any adjustment, then you can apply an adjustment to your own. 
then now we are going to the back cover and apply this design here then scale it out make sure you follow the guideline something like this then i will reduce the opacity to 73 then select the test tool i'm going to type this word this word here what god has joined together let no man put asunder so something like this then increase the font size Okay, now I'm going to draw a rectangle. Then I'll leave it at this position. I think here is okay. Then I'm going to apply a stroke color. Then increase the size to five. Then make it six. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then change the stroke to black. Then I'm, I'm going to remove the fill color. Okay. Now we authorize it. Then go to your polygon laser tool. I mean the uh, macro tool. So you can either use your polygon laser tool or the macro tool. Then delete it. So you can see the area I select. Then I delete it. Then I'm going to drink, delete this one. Then when you turn it off, then you will see this color. And I'm going to delete this one. Control plus D to deselect, then turn it on. So we have this color and the black now. Then apply horizontal alignment. Then I'm going to put this brown. So you can put your brown at the bottom of your own design. So this brown, I'm using it as an example. So if you are designing, so you can put your own brown like this at the bottom of your design. And it should be at the back cover of the design. All right, then I'm going to bring this flower, then drag it over here. Then create a clipping mask to it. Then increase the size of it. All right, then apply the layer mask while you blend the edges. Then scale it out. It's okay like this. Okay, so the next thing now, I'm going to select it. 
hold your shift key while you select then you group ctrl plus g to group so this is the front and the back cover okay so now the next one we are going to do now is the inner pages so after we are through with this one now so we are going to the inner pages to create the inner page now select your right angle tool then you can see where i'm positioning my my cursor now then make sure you use your guideline then I'm going to apply a drop shadow so something like this because I want to see this effect so make use of these settings here the blending mode is multiply opacity 53 angle 90 then the distance is 0 spread is 5 and the size is 13 then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Now I want to apply this background at the back of it. So this one is for tutorial purpose. If make sure that if you want to apply any flower or whatsoever design you want to use make sure that you use high resolution so for the tutorial purpose i'm using this one so for your own if you are doing it for printing then make sure you use high resolution design Alright, then I'm going to create another rectangle there. So when you see this rectangle, you know that this rectangle is different from the first one I draw. Because why I do this is because I'm going to apply a background on this one. So this one is going to be different from the other one. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then flip it horizontal. Then I'm going to drag this one to this position so that these edges will appear. Then apply your layer mask and uh, you clean up the middle. Then select the circle one and also scale it out. This way is okay. Alright. Then select your layer mask again. Then select your gradient tool. Then and clean up that area. Alright. Then go to your rectangle. Then you select your rectangle tool. Now you can see where I'm taking my draw from then I'm going to apply this image then arrange it the one the way you want it to be then I'm going to clipping mask, select the second rectangle, then import the image you want to use, reduce the size, position it the way you want it to be. I'm going to clipping mask. Okay, 
then select the last rectangle and I'm going to use this image here then create a clipping mask so now you can see how it comes now but one thing you should know about this is that this one you are seeing here is not serial it's not serial so if you want to design it in serial serially then you have to make sure that then you draw your pattern on how it will come out serial because like this inner page you are seeing now then the right one now is page one why the left is now for example maybe it's up to four pages if the right one is page one that means the left one will be the fourth page so and if you want a such um, picture to be in serial then make sure that then you arrange it in a way that it will come out serial but for this one it's not serial so we are done with the first page so we are going to draw the second page this is only four pages Then you can see what I'm doing there is to copy and paste the drop shadow. Then you draw another rectangle here. Then I'm going to draw a cycle here. So as you can see now, then this right one will be the second page, while the left one is going to be the third page. Like the first one, one and the fourth. This one now is second and the third. maybe down on our next design on something like this i'm going to show you how to make it serial so like that one is going to be more than four pages but if you want me to do that please let me know in the comment section Okay, and one thing you should know is that the picture you are seeing here is not one picture. So these are different picture. I'm using different picture to do this. So if you have a wedding, a wedding, and you want to do something like this, then the picture will be what will be in one image, not like this one is a mix up. So I'm just doing it for a tutorial purpose. So that is why you see that the image are all mixed up because I couldn't get one series of image. So I'm going to use this different image on it. And I'm going to use this picture because there is no any other picture that I will use again. So I'm going to use this one. So you should know that they are not one person. So these are different people. So I'm using their images for the tutorial. Okay. So something like this.
So in your own design, you can make this right one as your last, as your last page. instead of third pages so you can make this one as the last page so how do you see it does it make sense if it makes sense that this third page should be your last page then let me know under the comment section Right. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle, then to apply a clipping mask of that background inside. Then select this flower now. Then I'm going to blend the top. Then now, create a clipping mask so that you will not see part of it in the other side. So that is all in this tutorial. So this one we did now is only four pages. Thank you so much for following. If you like this video and you want to see this type of video again, please let me know in the comment section so that we will just do justice to that. And the other one is going to be like 12 pages. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet.